everybody. I'm Miss Miriam from the Diamond Branch of Oakland Public Library, and today we're going to tell the story of Stonewall and why we have Pride celebrations every June. This is LGBTQ history that I didn't learn until I was an adult, and so I'm really excited today to share this with kids and families so that you can know the history now. Big thanks to former Oakland librarian Claire Scott for developing this story. She said in her original telling of it, out of the closets and into the libraries. And that's how we'll start today. Let's say it all together. Out of the closets and into the libraries. There's a part of the story that goes, we were always here, we are still here, we are stronger together. And this is a part that we'll repeat together. So here are the words, we can say it all together. We were always here, we are still here, we are stronger together. And we'll get lots of chances to say that together. Once upon a time in New York City, there was a place called the Stonewall Inn. That's a photograph of the outside of the Stonewall Inn. It was in the year 1969, which was 51 years ago. And in those days, it was illegal to be gay. It was against the law to be LGBTQ. And queer and trans people often had to hide who they were and worry about their safety when they were out in public. We were always here. We are still here. We are stronger together. The Stonewall, it wasn't that great. It was owned by the mafia and the toilets there overflowed, but it was one of the only places where queer and, queer and trans people could get together and be themselves, especially people who were young and homeless or people who were discriminated against in other queer spaces even because they were trans or gender non-conforming or because they were people of color. One night, very late. The police came to the Stonewall Inn to arrest everybody in, in the bar. They were gonna take everybody to jail. Most of the white men got to leave, but the trans and gender non-conforming people and the people of color, they were told that they were gonna be taken to jail. They would be arrested. A big crowd stood outside. We were always here. We are still here. We are stronger together. As the police tried to arrest them, someone yelled, why don't you guys do something? The crowd then, they started singing and they started dancing and they started pushing and they started saying, no. Let's say that all together, no. And do you know who was at the front of this? At the very front of the Stonewall riots, there was Marsha P. Johnson. There was Sylvia Rivera. There were black and Latinx trans women of color at the very front of, of the struggle at Stonewall. Let's everybody give a yay for Marsha P. Johnson. Yay! And a hooray for Sylvia Rivera. Hooray! We were always here. We are still here. We are stronger together. The crowd got bigger. The protesters, they danced in a line and then they started throwing bottles and they refused to go with the police. They refused to be arrested. They sang a song. We are the Stonewall girls. We wear our hair in curls. Let's sing that all together. We are the Stonewall girls. We wear our hair in curls. For six nights, for six whole nights, people rioted in the streets and fought back against the police. We were always here. We are still here. We are stronger together. The Stonewall riots were one of the most important events that led to the gay liberation movement and the ongoing fight for LGBTQ rights. One year after Stonewall, there was a big parade. We came out of the closets and into the streets to remember, to celebrate, and to resist. You might recognize this. That's a lot what our pride celebrations look like now. Every year since then, there's been a big parade. We celebrate and honor queer and trans communities. We celebrate and honor our freedom and we celebrate and honor that we won't hide and we won't be quiet. We were always here, we are still here, we are stronger together. Now every year you get to remember and tell others what pride is really about and who stood at the front of the struggle for gay rights. We have a long, long way to go. Just a few days ago, uh, health protections for trans community members were taken away. There's a lot of work still to do but we're learning and we're growing and we're fighting and all of us are still part of this story because we are always here, we are still here, and we are stronger together. Thanks so much for listening, everybody.
Happy Pride.